Hi guys, it's Michelle Hussein and today is the 27th, 27th of April 2014 and I'm like uh, I think a week into my fifth month of topical steroid withdrawal and I thought I'd do a quick update on how I'm doing since I haven't made a video since I think month three. Um, I've just come out of a flare. I had a flare that lasted about two and a half weeks and I was back to being very red and very scaly in the face. Um, I even had a bit of oozing which I hadn't had since month one which had me worried because I thought I was regressing back to how I was back in the early days of my withdrawal. withdrawal. But um, no, that seems to have come to an end and um, it just kind of happened like... Um, last week, last, um, not last week, uh, about two, three days ago I was in the shower and I had, um, I was just washing my face and I felt a lot of skin fall off. I had a lot of dead skin on my face and uh, when the skin came off I felt like some of the pigmentation went down. Like if I were to show you how my face is right now. Yeah. It's not as bad as it was <laughs> back in say month three or anything and I'm so glad about that because I was really worried about pigmentation issues. I know that they usually take a while to kind of go away but um, yeah I think uh, my rate of progress I'm very happy with right now um, and uh, I feel like I'm getting a lot better and I'm a lot more comfortable in my skin right now. Um, I now go out a bit more I don't feel as self-conscious as I was say last month and uh, I think that's just a sign that I'm getting better and I feel like every time I flare it's just a way of my body it's just a way of my skin just pushing out all the toxins it's just like I always feel like the skin after my flare is always way better than how it was before me flaring so I try to be optimistic whenever I flare. I try to see it as a good thing that my skin is just trying to push out toxins rather than take it negatively and get too upset about it. Um, also I had a blood test done last month and it turns out that I have very low levels of vitamin D which isn't too surprising considering I live in the UK and um, brown skin so uh, uh, and it's usually cloudy and I've been indoors a lot so uh, I wasn't getting the I wasn't getting natural vitamin D from the sun so um, I was given supplements which I take and uh, the last two weeks actually in the UK we've had a bit of sunshine and I've been taking advantage of that by going out and sitting in the sun for about 30 minutes and uh, I don't know if that's helped so much um, I think when I when the sun was here <laughs> It clearly isn't right now, but uh, when it was, uh, when the sun was shining down, I was actually flaring, and uh, I was out in the sun, whilst my face was red. And I think that's not a good idea to do. It just made me very itchy and very uncomfortable, and um, my face was burning up anyway because of the flare. It just made it burn like twice as much. So um, I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend going into the sun when you're flaring. But uh, when my skin calmed down a bit, um, I did go in the sun and I just feel like it makes the whole process of shedding skin, it just happens a lot faster if you spend a few, like, like half an hour in the sun. It just sort of, I don't know, my skin feels like it's ready to fall off afterwards. It just dries out my skin, so I feel like I should exfoliate it and then usually the skin underneath is strong enough and I don't get like, you know, sore bits anymore. I just get this like plasticky looking skin. So I'm glad that my pigmentation is down uh, on my face, but the texture of my skin is still kind of weird. Uh, I don't know if you'll see this on camera because it's really hard to pick up. Uh, if you were here in real life, you'd be able to see it a lot more. But my skin is quite shiny. Like I have this shiny plasticky sheen to my face and while my skin is producing its own oils I haven't been using moisturizers either uh, since the beginning I think since month two I think I just stopped using moisturizers 
and um, my skin does produce its own oils but when I wash my face for like the first 10 minutes it's going to be dry and uncomfortable and kind of flaky but my oil, my oils do kick in so um, I'm very glad about that I think that's progress as well um, and overall I just think mentally I'm in a better place now just because I don't feel so scared going out and um, I've kind of accepted my skin whereas before I was kind of ashamed and was kind of like locking myself in the house and not going out whereas now I think I'm just so bored of being at home I don't really care too much what my skin looks like and I think not caring is helping me and the less I care about my skin the better my skin does I think uh, it's probably related to stressing out about skin too uh, in terms of sleep, now uh, I've had real issues with this, like I, I wasn't able to sleep at all and uh, my, doc my doctor prescribed me amitriptyline which is I think uh, an antidepressant or an anti-anxiety medicine and it has helped so much with my sleep. I don't take it every day, I take it like, I try not to take it a lot just because I'm very cautious with medicines anyway and I don't like the thought of having medication to help me sleep because I don't want to get addicted even though this thing is not meant to be addictive but still and I find it hard to trust doctors now too much so um I take it like maybe once in a week but it has definitely helped me out uh, with my sleep I definitely fall asleep a lot faster and I get my eight hours just fine now so I think that's also helped uh, with my skin getting some sleep definitely makes my skin feel a lot more <coughs> sorry, uh, sorry makes me feel uh, makes my skin feel a lot more I don't know nicer whereas if I don't sleep then I just feel like it just feels like my face is on fire and my eyes also be so tired and it's just awful I feel like a walking zombie so yeah <laughs> um, that's cool. I've also been taking probiotics and I don't think that's helped with my topical steroid withdrawal but it helps with my digestion and um, just kind of makes me uh, poop more. TMI. But uh, yeah I just feel like if I'm if my digestive system's okay I'm maybe releasing toxins that way. I just think this whole process is about releasing toxins in the body so anything that helps my body process waste. I don't mind taking supplications for that sort of thing. Um, I've also been having a bit of like active B12 but I'm not uh, very strict with this so I probably take it like once in a week or something like that and um, active folic acid as well something it's called something folate um, it's something to do with like I don't know, it's just like an active folic thing and I'm, I'm only taking them just because um, a lot of people have had good results by taking them so I thought why not give it a try. I don't think it has necessarily made a big difference with me but um, I take it anyway uh, but I'm not strict with it so I'd, yeah once a week is all I take with that and that seems to be just fine. Uh, I'm very happy with my rate of progress right now. I just think that if I continue healing at the rate I am, I'm hoping to be done with TSW by, like, say a year's time, and like in another six months. And I know it's bad to keep like deadlines on how of uh, of when you should be healed. I know that's like I could be setting myself up for disappointment, but I just feel so much better this month that uh, I don't know. I just feel really optimistic and all you guys who are going through withdrawal right now and are in their like first month, two months, three months, it's awful, you just don't think that it's going to end but um, trust me you do get relief and it feels good when you know that that relief is not coming from some tube or from something synthetic that you might have to use all the, for the rest of your life, you know? So yeah, I'm pretty optimistic. Um, Anyways, uh, I hope all you guys are doing well and um, those guys going through with withdrawal, don't worry about it, try not to stress about it. And I know that's easier said than then, but yeah, but 
you you need to understand why you're doing this and it, it's going to be fine all right then i'm going to be signing off for now my quick update was not so quick sorry about that guys uh, <laughs> and uh yeah i'll keep you updated on how i'm doing take care guys bye